Hi there, it's Mr. Judge. I'm about to take you through a mindful drawing activity. Okay, so you're going to need a pencil and you're going to need a ruler. You're also going to need a pen, a black pen. Doesn't have to be one of those. Okay, so you need to take your ruler and measure a nice square on your piece of paper. Doesn't matter how big it needs to be, just a square on your paper because that's the area you're going to work in. Then you're going to get your pen. Okay, so you want to start off by drawing a nice curve from one edge to the other. And it doesn't matter which way round you do it, but this is where you're going to start off. Then you need to draw these little semicircles that join from edge to edge. It doesn't have to be perfect. The whole point of this activity is it's meant to calm you, it's meant to relax you. So keep going with that. You do exactly the same thing to the other side. And then what you want to do is you want to go all the way up. It kind of looks like a string. So you're kind of going all the way up. It doesn't matter what size these arcs are. You can do some big ones as you'll see in a minute and you'll see that I do some small ones as well. You can mix and match between them. So the next thing you need to do is do the same thing to the other side. You can draw this curved line wherever you want, it does not matter. And I'm going to repeat that same pattern over and over again, drawing those curved lines, drawing the arcs until it looks like my page is covered with vines intertwining. So now I'm going to speed up the video and all you need to do is keep repeating this over and over again. You can have this on in the background. I would recommend putting some nice, calm, relaxing music on at the same time, and you just keep going. You're using that same motion of drawing those curved lines and drawing the arcs over and over again till you pretty much fill the page. You're going to have a few gaps in between the vines, but I'm going to show you what you need to do with that when the time gets to it. Okay, so this is the next part. As you can see, I'm filling in the gaps between those arcs with some more arcs, but I'm just stretching them over the space. And it wasn't until near the end where I realised that that corner that I'm actually drawing on right now could have been filled up a little bit more before I filled in the arcs. But like I said, it doesn't have to look a certain way. The whole thing is meant to be a relaxing activity. It doesn't need to be perfect. And actually, after filling out this whole square, I felt very, very calm. And you can't hear it, but I had music on the background as well. 